All right, guys. About to head to my local family dollar here shortly to see what supplies I can buy that hasn't been bought up by other hoarders because of this coronavirus pandemic mass hysteria. And I'll talk more about the my thoughts of coronavirus here in a little bit. You know, I'm not downplaying it. I do get how serious it is, but the way people are just hoarding stuff, including toilet paper, hand sanitizer, milk, and whatever else they get their hands on. It's ridiculous. But anyways, guess I'm going to see what they have left. What I can buy for myself. I don't worry, I won't buy that much unless it's something I really need. But yeah, I'm about to head inside and see what all they have and what they don't have. And I thought toy hunting was a hard job at times. Now it's just going supply hunting. <sighs> well, like I said, we'll see what's been picked over. Well, thankfully the hoarders haven't bought all the, hand, the dish soap yet, because I'm sure I'm not going to find hand soap. This, of course, right here is going to be my go-to, Ajax, which I think this is antibacterial, but it's really hard to tell. I mean, it says dish liquid and hand soap. <sighs> I mean, I'm surprised the big balls haven't gone yet, but I'm sure once there's no more hand soap, I'm sure next time I come in here, these will be gone, but yeah, it's a surprise. And so far, all the air cleaning supplies when it comes to, well, this is all just dish soap, but yeah, so far this stuff hasn't been picked over yet, but I guess we'll see what else has been picked over here in just a moment. Well, despite the fact that they're starting to kind of take a lot of it, there's still a good decent amount of bleach here. I know bleach is being bought right now just so people can disinfect their surfaces. I mean, it's not empty yet, but it's getting close. At least they still have a good decent amount of it, especially the in the in-house, you know, generic brand of bleach. But yeah, I mean, everything else is still in plentiful stock. Laundry detergent's still here. People got to still do laundry, but we'll see how long that lasts. Of course, I need my soda, and surprisingly, they got soda, but the shelves are even clean. Now, of course, I'm going to be smart and just buy one to I don't need to hoard Mountain Dew. I don't love Mountain Dew that much. And also, I think I'll get some 7-Up while I'm at it, because 7-Up, you know, always good when you're sick, so I don't know how it's going to do well against the coronavirus, but... You know, pick some soda up for the hell of it. <laughs> and of course, I need some breakfast stuff. I love these breakfast sandwiches. These are good to eat. These one dollar fast bites. Throw these in the in the basket in the cart. And just two of the one dollar burritos. I don't need them all, but I can always buy more until you know orders buy them all up. And pick up some of these one dollar sandwiches too while I'm at it once again I don't need to buy more than two of each you know like sure there's still food left for the other people here two of the cheeseburgers I'll grab two of the spicy chicken sandwiches just want to make sure I have enough food for the next two weeks so I get paid again but the way things are going, who knows what's going to happen at my job or any other job. And, you know what? Got me some pizza rolls. And while I'm at it, I'm going to buy two of each of the little pizzas because these little pizzas are pretty good. I can usually make these things last for quite a while. Excuse me, try to do this one hand. They're trying to grab the pepperoni ones. Let's see, grab two of the Supremes. Bagel bites are tempting, but I don't know if I really want any. <laughs> and just, I'm going to grab two of the cheese pizzas because, eh, you know, when you're not in the mood for the toppings, I guess cheese is always good. And finally... Does my family door have it? I've already heard about the grocery store in town not having it. Oh, look, they have milk. Got milk, yep. And I will go with the milk that is good to me first. Of course, I don't really need big old gallons of milk. For me, living by myself, all I need is a half gallon. But, I don't know, a gallon of milk is tempting. 
And because it's my go-to, I've already got cereal at home, but I might pick in a box up maybe. Definitely need more self some more pop tarts. I always just go with the dollar variety of the Chestnut Hill Pop Tarts. And I have plenty of the variety pack at home, but uh, may just have to, because you never know when these might go next. Yep. And while I'm down here, I'm not gonna buy any. Let's wow. Yeah, bread. They got plenty of buns. They got tortillas, but they don't have bread. I guess no sandwiches for me unless I want to do a sandwich on a tortilla or buns or well, they got a hamburger. Okay, so that's it for groceries. I'm gonna go look at some of the other stuff that's really essential right now. Well, they still have hand soap. I don't know about sanitizer. But the antibacterial stuff is starting to fly off the shelves. Ah, oh, man. It's crazy. I mean, you got moisturizing hand soap, liquid hand soap, but everybody's getting the antibacterial, but... It, antibacterial only kills so much, people. But yeah, I don't... It, of course, the hand sanitizer. That's the thing everybody thinks is going to save them, but people... As somebody who works in fast food... And been to a food handlers class. Hand sanitizer does not kill all the germs unless you wash your hands. Sanitizer is just a extra little added barrier. Well, I'll still pick this up because I like my hands to smell good, and it'll still kill the germs, people. It's like as long as you're using warm water, you're gonna kill the germs. Yeah, I fill up my cart. Of course, I'm gonna look and see what's in the medicine because, you know, I don't need any medicine. I do need some cough drops. <laughs> Now, I don't know how cough drops pre prevent coronavirus, but I'm sure if you got a sore throat, they're still good. I mean, at least cough drops aren't flying off the shelves like too crazy. These are always good. Oh, somebody just coughed. I hope they don't have the disease, but definitely got to pick some ludens up. These are pretty good, you know. I don't know how effective they are, but I'm still going to pick them up. <laughs> yeah. Still got plenty of cold medicine. I bet if there's coronavirus medicine, it'll fly off the shelves like crazy. And finally, the moment of truth, guys. <clears throat> the only thing Family Dollar cannot keep in stock. Man. Playing napkins, though. But no toilet paper. And believe me, guys, this is the only stop at Mega Day. I'm not going by any other place because I already know this is going to be the same scene everywhere I go. Doesn't matter if I go to Walmart, Dollar General, a local grocery store. Anywhere and everywhere that has toilet paper will not have it. Paper towels, though. They have plenty of paper towels. I don't know how effective that is for wiping your butt. Oh, look. This almost looks like toilet paper, but it's not. <sighs> Crazy, though. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's ridiculous. These paper towels are very deceiving. Uh, facial tissue, that's starting to fly off the shelves. That's going to be the next best thing in toilet paper. Tch, ridiculous. And usually Fanny Dollar has like the $1 toilet paper all over the store as well, but... Yeah, probably not going to find it here. And one last thing while I'm here, I'm just going to look at the Pokemon cards. Of course, $1 cards. They only got Sun, Moon, Unbroken Bonds, Team Up, and Guardians Rising. They had Forbidden Light, but... It looks like that box was empty to begin with and all it had was the unbroken bonds and team up packs in it but man these are starting to go real quick of course i've already done some videos on the channel if you guys haven't seen them yet you know go back to, go and watch me your fan pokemon but i think i might pick these up because you know what despite all the craziness of the coronavirus i still want to do my videos so i might pick up 10 of these packs for the heck of it and 10 of the sun and moon packs i'm gonna make sure i don't overlook them but yeah guys i'll see y'all back at home here shortly to, Give my update on, well, just give my thoughts on this damn pandemic. Well, here's my haul of stuff, guys. Yep, just like what I do with a toy hunt. Of course, the most important things you need right now, soap, not sanitizer. Yeah, you can buy sanitizer, but like I said, sanitizer is only a shield. Soap, it doesn't matter if it's antibacterial or not. As long as you use hot water, you will get germs killed not all germs but still it doesn't matter if it's flu or this dang COVID-19 which we still don't know much about and I'll talk about more later these of course just any cough drops or you know 
or lozenges, just something just that's good for your throat because really I've been coughing, but I don't feel it, the symptoms of this stupid virus. But yeah, and you know all the other stuff I got in here, my all my food, of course dish soap should be in one of the other bags. I think it's in the bag here. Of course milk. Very surprised the milk is not gone yet. Oh yeah, no TP, but man, of course just because you know why not. Just in case I run out of hand so I mean, I gotta keep my dishes clean because, you know, you, you can't take each other. Yeah, I didn't buy any Lysol, but I live alone. I don't let much people in my house, so I feel like, you know, I don't know. This is all be blood proportion, but as you guys see, I didn't whore. I mean, two of, an, of a certain item is all you really need. You don't need to go out and buy every single one of these. I mean, I didn't have to go out and buy, like, oh, 50 bags of these or 20 of these or... The only thing I bought the most of was Pokemon cards, and that's for fun, and really, who's going to be hoarding that? I mean, and I'll get to a funny story about what I was talking to, you know, I was talking to an employee about how we were discussing all this, so yeah, um, I'm going to put this stuff away in the fridge or freezer and wherever else I got to put stuff, and um, give you guys my thoughts on this pandemic. But at this point, when it comes to fine toilet paper, I feel like, I'll find figures that are hard to find right now, like maybe the Billy Kay or Payne Royce Chase Elites, before I find toilet paper. Just saying. And also, one last word of advice. If you buy a lot of toilet paper, keep away from your cat. Thankfully, my cat hasn't destroyed what's left of my toilet paper. But I'm just saying, cats like to destroy toilet paper. He already destroys everything else, so... I'm sorry I have to sham you, Rescue, but I know the minute I leave toilet paper out, you're going to destroy it. So, people, if you have cats or dogs... Hide that TP because those thousands of roll you bought will be destroyed by your pet. Just saying. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to try my best to compose my thoughts this video because it, this this has been insane. Um, I've been wanting to address it, you know, because, you know, like everybody else, there's no way you can hide from the news of the coronavirus slash COVID-19. It's just... And I probably should be touching my face because, oh, they say, oh, if you think you might have like, the virus or if you don't want to contract it, don't touch your face. But it's the same same stuff with the flu. And it's just crazy. Everything is just being put to a standstill. Like so many states, including mine, have banned gatherings of 200 or 50 or more people, which includes major events. Like, there's going to be no NCAA tournament. They've canceled all the conference tournaments in college basketball, which means no NCAA tournament for the first time in, like, probably, like, a long time. I know there's, for what I've heard, there was another time, like, God, decades ago that they had to cancel a tournament, but, oh, man. Um, if you're a fan of the NBA, that's been canceled for or postponed for the time being. NHL, same thing. Soccer. Um, NASCAR, various wrestling events. Hell, at this point, WrestleMania is still on, but the local government in Florida may tell WWE, um, you're going to have to cancel it, or we're going to make you cancel it. I mean, right now they put the ball in WWE's court, hoping that Vince will do the right thing. I mean, yeah, the XFL's been canceled after being back for a few weeks, you know, so much for that revival, but hopefully the XFL, I guess, will come back next year. Um, all this stuff that's just happening is ridiculous, and I just, I was discussing this with the employee at Family Dollar who was checking me out, guy who, who I always talked to, he's always nice to me, always says hi to me, you know, we'll joke around and stuff, and we just were talking about this, how all these people are buying toilet paper, and he's like, he said, yeah, I guess first people do it because they're, because of the fear of being quarantined, but also because apparently, I don't know who started this little rumor, People are afraid, oh, because you're going to get coronavirus, you're going to have diarrhea, so you got to buy all the toilet paper you want. Like, oh my god. He and I thought that was stupid when we were discussing that, like, and I was going to tell him, you know, because I, I work in, you know, I work in food. And because I work in food, I have to wash my hands, make sure I wash them in warm water, lather them up, and then after that, then use sanitizer. But people think, oh no, sanitizer's just enough. No, it's not, people. you got to use soap. It doesn't matter if it's antibacterial. I mean, as long as it can kill germs, and it's going to kill, like, 99.9%, .9%, I mean, whatever, I mean, 
Your hands aren't going to get clean with sanitizer alone. It's just like... It's like putting a band-aid over a serious cut that you need to disinfect first. It's that ba like it'll get infected. Oh no, I put a little band-aid over. Nope. You're you're gonna get an infection. But I'm sorry, I'm not trying to scare anyone, but everybody's getting scared by this. It's ridiculous. And I'm trying not to dwell on conspiracy theories, but the fact that this is a new strain of coronavirus, because cure by coronavirus is nothing new, even on the back of like Lysol or Clorox wipes. Me and my me and my coworkers discussed this. We showed this like can prevent the spread of coronavirus. And then another one of my coworkers like, well, this is a new strain. I'm like, oh my god, it's like because I have another coworker who's like paranoid over it. It's like because you believe what they say in the news, but no one knows. I mean, the politicians don't know, and even scientists are debating whether or not it's as bad as it's gonna be. And, you know, this is where the conspiracy theories come in. How did this coronavirus come about? Because it originated in China, and a doctor knew about it, and that doctor ended up dying because the Chinese government blew him off. It's like either this virus had been in a lab for the longest time and somebody let out, or this virus was a combination of viruses that somebody mutated, and then they let it out, and they could have let it accidentally, or... With all the theories about the NWO and the Illuminati could be let down on purpose, and that's why this has happened. Or it could just be them lying to us, saying, oh, this virus, you know, it may not be as bad as it is, but this is how they turn people against each other. That's why people are buying toilet paper like crazy. And hand sanitizer. And, and I'll, I mean, thankfully I bought groceries. I see a, a short grocery. I know that my local grocery store probably is having a hard time stocking stuff. I know Walmart. You know, you used to make Walmart not to really have anything stocked to begin with. Now it's getting worse. I mean, hell, I bet Walmart's having to close like as early as, what, 8 p.m. or something? Because they can't keep stuff in stock. And then you all this talk of gatherings of 250 or more people. Sorry if I can't say anything right. I hope I'm not coming down with the damn virus, but... <sighs> Sorry if I had to hack, I mean... I've already had to get over the flu this year, and and all this talk of this coronavirus, I mean, as I was saying, I mean, I'm thinking at this point, if, if people can't go anywhere that there's 250 more people, and Walmart's getting all full, I almost feel like they have to have somebody at the door, be like, oh, sorry, we count everybody, including the employees, you can't go in until we're down 249 or less, people are going to be sneaking into Walmart just because of that reason, but... It's just crazy, and even Donald Trump is just misleading people. I'm sorry, I don't want to get political for any of you guys who are Trump supporters, but the fact that he was near somebody from Brazil that supposedly contracted the virus, and then Trump tests negative, like, oh, he don't have it. I mean, I don't know. Right there, that fueled my conspiracy theories, but I, once again, I'm not going to get into that. I don't want to throw more fuel in the fire. I apologize, because I just I want this to be done with. I want people to, one, just take precautions, wash your hands, stay away from people that are, you know, most likely to die from this virus, like the elderly, uh, people with weak immune systems, um, infants and toddlers, probably anyone under the age of five or anyone over the age of 50. Um, just stay away from them. Don't don't come contact them. Use Skype. Use Facebook. Use FaceTime. Just, if you need to talk to your grandmother, grandfather, great-grandfather, great-grandmother, aunt, uncle, you know, and you know that they're at risk of getting sick from this, just don't don't go near them, you know, especially say they're out of state and you want to go see them, like, no, just stay where you're at, just, I mean, once again, I feel like this is all being blown out of proportion because we don't have proper answers, and that's why if you follow me on Twitter, I blacked out my profile pic, and I don't expect anyone else to do it. If you want to do it, cool, but I'm not trying to get that to trend, that just, my own personal preference, you can change your profile pic to toilet paper for all I care, or, I don't know, if you're anti-Trump, you can do some anti-Trump pic or something, I don't really care. Or if you're pro-Trump, I don't, once again, I don't care, I'm not gonna judge. It, it's just, it's it's getting insane, um, and the fact that we're seeing so much stu good stuff get canceled, I mean, I was looking forward to the NCAA tur tournament, I mean, shoot, KU has gone, like, every year, I mean, I can't remember a single year that the Jayhawks didn't go, I mean, the, Wichita State, and and the Kansas State Wildcats weren't guaranteed to go, but they could have 
win their if they would have won their respective tournaments, but or at least got the NIT, which you know that's canceled too. But and and then WrestleMania, which with, with WWE doing SmackDown, Raw, and NXT for the Foreign Center with an empty crowd, which yeah, the, the episode of NXT they did recently had a crowd, but going forward until all this dies down, I hate saying die blows over. We'll just say blows. Over. I don't like saying dying, but. You know, for the time being, we're going to see, just like we saw with SmackDown, we're going to see empty arenas. And AEW's had to move to their venues because they can't do a show in New York because New York is under a mandatory quarantine. And I'm surprised that my state hasn't gone under that yet because we already had a case not too far from where I'm at. It's just, it's ridiculous. So, of course, toilets of RC, that probably might take a back seat for a while if I can't leave my house. I mean, especially if, if, the only place I'm going to go to is work. I mean, I was lucky I was able to go to Family Dollar, and that Family Dollar is not too far from my house. Like, it's only like a 10-minute walk, so maybe no more than a minute by car to this Family Dollar I go to. I mean, it's better to go into Walmart, which is about three miles away from me, which, you know, still isn't bad, but it's just, it's ridiculous. Heck, when I was at work on Saturday night, it was so slow, and we're already taking precautions. We're moving, like, condiments, lids, straws, to the back, you know, where we have to give to the employees. And, you know, when I handle cash, I have to wash my hands, basically, and put gloves on if I want to handle anything, because that's how bad this is getting. And you think, while well, people buying stuff look like crazy, we're about to have a hurricane. But see, I live in Kansas. We get tornadoes, and tornadoes come out of nowhere. Hurricane, you at least prepare for. But the coronavirus, some of that may be not as bad as the flu, that only at this moment has a... 3% fatality rate when the flu has about 2%. And the flu still kills a lot of people and nobody makes this big deal about the flu. Hell, people can live with AIDS the rest of their life and, and, and there's no cure for AIDS. And you don't see people going crazy buying up condoms, which, oh boy, I wonder how people are going to be buying those up. Or people that won't be buying them because they want to have children because they don't know what's going to happen. It's like... So guys, I rambled on for a long time, but this is a ramble I had to do because... I want to give my thoughts. Once again, not trying to alarm anyone, not trying to get anybody the wrong impression. It's just, it's ridiculous. And I, once again, I just hope for us to turn to our normal lives that, you know, I can go back doing toilets and videos, that I can be able to watch SmackDown Raw and XT with a full crowd of people. Um, and just, like I said, just... Not have to live in fear. For me, it's not the fear of dying. It's more the fear of, of being able to keep my bills paid. I'd rather die in my home than die on the street because I'm homeless, because I lost my job because of a stupid virus that went out of control because we're being misinformed. It's just, it's ridiculous. Because if you die, you die. I mean, life is short to begin with. You're not guaranteed to have the next day, but the fact that people are stressed about this. Once again, me, it's not the disease that stressed me. It's the, it's what's causing the stress from the economy, and it's just ridiculous. But anyways, guys, um, I hope not to make any more videos like this again for a long time. Hope the next video I make, will, besides some videos I plan, like I'm going to do a Pokemon card video again. I hope you guys will watch that. If you, if you like Pokemon, and hopefully I can get my hands on that new Road to WrestleMania trade card set and any the other sets that are out, and you know, get my hands on more figures. And um, yeah, I'm better than that. Hopefully the next video I make about the coronavirus is, is just talk about the coronavirus being done with or at least being contained and uh, it's just, it's it's gone out of hands. But guys, I want to thank you all very much for watching. If, if you want to like this video, cool. If you dislike it, I, I'm not going to freak out, whatever. Um, this is not about the views. This is not about subscribing. This is not about bells, notifications, all that. This is just about awareness. Um, Like I said, I'm, I'm ready for this to be done with. And I'm done with the with the pandemic. I'm done with the fear mongering. I'm just I'm done with the people hoarding toilet paper. By the way, if you're hoarding toilet paper, you're a moron. You're stupid. I'm sorry. All you just if you want to buy one of those multi packs of 36 five, just buy that. That's good enough. You don't need to go buy 500 rolls of toilet paper or pallets full of sanitizer, knowing that daycares might need it. Um, I, once again, I rambled on, ranted for long, but I, this. This is for my own benefit. I don't even care if I don't get like more than like 10 views on this. I don't care. Or if overnight I get a crap ton of views. Well, 
Once again, this is my two cents on the matter. I just, once again, not downplaying it. I hope that everybody stays safe. Once again, keep yourselves clean. Stay away from people that you know that are more at risk of the virus. Just and stay informed, you know. That's all you can do. And don't, don't buy into the mass media because they're, they're not going to tell you all the stuff. Like, really, truth be told, there's more people recovering from this than, than people dying. But they, the news wants to focus on people dying. And even now, China has reached the peak of the virus. So if they reached it, and China's got, like, the largest population in the world of over 2 billion people, they're, if they're going to be fine, we'll be fine here in the U.S. We only have about maybe less than a billion people here in the U.S. I mean, we're like the third most popular country. I'm surprised they haven't talked about India. India is the second most populated country. I mean, and I'm sure they got a lot of coronavirus cases there. I mean, everywhere does the world. I mean, but that's it, guys. I'm, I'm going to finish rambling. I don't care how long this video's gone. It's gone probably longer than it should have, but... I had to get my thoughts out there. So, guys, thanks for watching. Um, I'm not gonna use, I'm not gonna edit my usual rock on, keep collecting like normal, because this is nothing about collecting. If anything, don't collect. I mean, don't collect toilet paper unless you need it. Don't, I mean, don't hoard. But, I mean, you can still collect your toys and stuff. Like, I'm not gonna let that stop me from buying figures. I'm just, won't we'll be buying anything overseas for a while until this, until this, um, you know, blows over. But that's it, guys. I'm done talking. Thanks for watching. Um, and take care. Stay safe. And, um, God bless.